Well, hey folks, it's Amy from Colorado Mountain Living. Look where I'm sitting right now on top of our deck. Can you believe one weekend, an entire deck built? This video, we're gonna show you how in two days, this massive log deck was put together by two men. So I yeah, hope you enjoy and uh, hey, cheers. So this is where we left off with the last video after digging the holes. Brian's now got the concrete tubes ready uh, in a couple of the two that we dug. And the trick now is to get everything level. So we're gonna break out the transit. Uh, we're gonna do a lot of squaring to make sure all the posts are level and the right height. Um, we gotta make sure that they're at the same height as the foundation of the house as well. So. Cause I want it to stick up a bit cause it'll build some stone around it and stuff. Mm -hmm. Cause, and then the, the grade of this probably has to come up anyway. Mm -hmm. so, go get this is the old DeWalt Transit. Remember when you had this? Yeah. And you're getting started? Yep. What it used. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think we're pretty close with that one. To come up a couple of Working into the night adds another layer of difficulty with being able to see what you're doing. Uh, but we set up some lights, but one of the bonuses is that this time of year we were getting to hear some of the wildlife. So listen closely and you can hear the elk in the background. It's a talented elk. Yeah. Sounds like he's playing a horn, a bugle. He is, or, or hunters messing around. Well, that's what I always thought it was before. It's so clear. But the fact that I've seen him in the woods twice this week, <laughs> it's been full of elk tracks. I made it so it's up higher. So we put the concrete in initially. Mm -hmm. It'll flow out. Oh. So we'll have you know six to seven inches that covers the whole bottom. Oh, okay. And then it'll go up. So it'll be shaped like a like that. But how will it not go up the sides of the tube? Because we'll let it set up for just a little bit. Oh. Hey, we got our log delivery. Check them out, guys. We've got three big posts and some decorative logs for the other parts underneath the deck. I'm gonna dump them here in a minute. So with this delivery we've got all of the major components ready to build our deck. These are the big posts that are going to be at the front of the deck. We've got our decking delivered the day before and our joists and now we are ready to go for Saturday. We're gonna build this thing in a weekend and just one more step to do before we're ready to get started. Checking all the measurements. Time That's to enough. Close enough. We got that one. We got that one. Vigo approves. We even got a laser level so we could check that. And we'll go over here. And then that's got to get dug. And then pouring over there. And if you don't know the story behind our concrete mixer, this is something that was been in Brian's family for a hundred years originally belonged to his grandfather, and then his father and his uncle poured the foundation for their house when they were like 12 years old. Does it get filled to the top or what? Yeah. Tippy top. Tippy top. And as you can see here, we are working into the night. Brian's filling up the tube here on the end. Uh, he was able to fill up the other two, but there's still one piece left to do. He still has to hand dig the hole in the middle and fill that tube tonight. Uh, got the two posts poured. Now we got to dig the third and get that all situated. Ugh. Looks like it's going to take a while doing it that way. Yep. <laughs> Electric is somewhere right here. Yeah. I'm not risking it with the... Yeah. Ooh, looks like you get down to the bottom.
Getting started on the deck this morning. Chilly start though. Looking down here at the temperature outside, 42. That's warmed up from 36 about an hour ago. Sun's having trouble coming out, so it's not warming up too fast. So, first order of business, Ryan's trying to get the logs lined up. So they're gonna be getting uh, positioned so we can put them on the posts there. So one went down the hill, but I think he's gonna try to, oh my God, how can you lift that? He's gonna use a strap to kind of pull it back in. And then there's a post right there. And then where Vigo is, is the other post right there. So big trick will be trying to stand these posts up. I don't know what the strategy is. I gotta go down there and find out. So if you look close, you can see that there's a hole drilled in the bottom of the log. So Brian pre-drilled those and then the bolt is sticking out of the um, concrete footing there. So that, the whole game is trying to get the bolt into the hole in the tree log. So this is gonna take some finessing. So they're getting it into place. I think the idea is to get that base up over there. and then uh, tilt it up. So we got Brian and Dad out here trying to line up the big log posts for the deck. So they're kind of get them, getting those oriented so they can um, start tipping them up. Yeah. So they're going to use the tractor and the strap to kind of lift up one end as high as they can and then try to lift the base end up on the blocks and then tip it from there. So they've got all these blocks next to the post and they're gonna to try to get that base end as close as they can level, so then they can kind of push it forward with the tractor and then tilt it onto the bolt. See if that works. Coming in with the tractor in here. I'm gonna load up the strap. See how high he can lift it. And they decided to reposition the strap to more of the center of the log so that they could get more hoist um, as they're lifting with the tractor. So they're Trying a new strategy here. They want the strap on there, but not too tight, so that they want to be able to loosen it and shimmy it down as they tilt it up, so it's not too hard to move the strap down as they move it. Enough to hold it into place, but I think the forks are going to hold it into place pretty good. And I know everyone's noticing the dog here. Don't worry, I called them out of the way before they got much further along in the lifting of the log, so uh, Vigo was safe inside with me. And as they were getting the lug in position, they actually had to get the bracing ready so they could secure it. So that's why all these long 2x4s and 2x6s are for the stakes in the ground there to help secure the lug once they get it up. They're also going to use the tractor and the forks to secure it until uh, all of the bracing is up. So one of the things that dad is noticing here is that as Brian's picking up the log with the tractor, it's seeming like it's holding it, the strap and everything, that they might not have to tip it into place, they can actually lift it into place. So uh, he's telling Brian, you know, give it a try, lift it higher and higher and see if it will hold. So this discovery just made everything a hundred times easier, knowing that you can actually lift up the log and kind of have someone there eyeballing it and just kind of drop it into place. So that's the new strategy, not really having to worry about tipping things up on blocks and the uh, insecureness of things, having things roll, having the log roll right off the blocks. Now you can just drop it into place. I 
Even though the post is tilted up, uh, we're nowhere as close to being done with this step. We got to unhook the strap, which is kind of bound up against the fork. So that's going to be tricky to take that out. And then we have to secure the post with a lot of bracing so it doesn't <laughs> fall over. Of course, before now. securing everything, you want to make sure your post is level. So Brian's holding his level up, just trying to make sure we're totally perpendicular up and down there. Um, also kind of hard to tell with a natural tree and its curves and swerves, you know, if you've got a level measurement, it's not the same as a board. So doing a lot of eyeballing, doing a lot of different types of tools to see if we've got a plum situation here with the post. And they got it staked in two directions here. Um, one really long two by six and then a two by four towards the house as well. Uh, keeping that tractor in place for the time being till everything's secure and they could pull out from this post. All right, that's the first look of the post. Boy, it really changes the look of the, the side of the house. It's huge, humongous. It's, the deck's gonna make a really big difference on the look of that house. Thinking about doing one more anchor to the house itself rather than these puny little ground anchors because uh, the anchor this one to the house dad said we could anchor the second post to the base of this post for more stability there so the strategy in raising the post first of all you raise it off the ground enough so you can get the forks underneath it uh, driving it forward so that's what this little stool is for is just to get it off the ground enough where you can get the forks of the tractor around it and then driving forwards towards it you're lifting it enough where you can get it and put the strap around the middle of it. And that is how the rest of the lifting is happening. I just did not realize how big those logs were going to be. Massive. Well, we're getting the posts up and the fog is clearing out. It's turning to be a really nice fall morning. Look at the fog clearing out. Finally, we've got our sunshine warming things up. I think it's going to be a really nice day. You know, I had to take a lot, walk below and uh, check out the perspective from down the hill. Uh, definitely changes the look of the outside of the house, but pretty cool. So Brian, he picked up a little mini electric chainsaw for like 40 bucks. 
just so he could notch out these uh, corners of the post. So it looks like it's working okay. Cutting out a big notch there. So after the main uh, chainsaw cut, he's getting in there with a nice big chisel and kind of squaring that off in the corners so he's got a nice sharp corner. That's where the ends of the deck joists are going to go. So they got to be square and they've got to be sharp. <laughs> and the middle post is kind of interesting. Instead of a corner cut, it's got to get more of like a hemisected cut. So he's kind of cutting through half way through the log here and just going straight across. Um, and then you can see with the uh, blade here of the chainsaw just kind of sort of pops right out and there you go, voila! You got your center post ready. All right, with the posts prepped, then the next step is getting all the joists on. So, got the big delivery here, measuring it out. This first end joist is the trickiest because you're having to deal with the notches that Brian cut out. So he's really double checking everything to make sure that they are flush and square and that when you put that board up, it's level and square to the house and how you want the deck to be. So really take an extra time to make sure that this far furthest away joist is uh, the, in this position that it needs to be in. You take that strap, uh, the, the board out here, two by four. and we'll pull it in. Getting started on the planking, something interesting about these composite, look how floppy they are. It's like a big noodle, just really flexible, really bendy. And uh, here's a tricky maneuver trying to get these boards up on that deck. They're so long and floppy, it's hard to know how they're gonna lie. Look at that. Hi. Look at that. Up on the deck. Up on the deck. Hmm. That first board slides right under those posts there. Oh, Brian cut them out so you can measure from there. See, I'm not tight on that corner here either. Oh, these are what you're using right here, these clips, spacers. Yeah. And let's look at how nice the boards look now. Everything is all nailed into place. I mean, screwed into place. One more project is cutting the notches for the railing posts. So Brian's got his little baby electric chainsaw, which is working great for carving out notches. So they got the logs on the tractor here turning and they're going to go on the front.
challenge will be seeing if we can get these logs up here to this deck level. Uh, he's going to see how high he can lift the forks. Maybe we can roll them up onto the deck. So these log posts are the posts that are going to be holding the railing in place and they're adding to the overall look of the house. A couple of them are flat on one side and they're going to go against the house to kind of complete the look. So definitely excited to see all of these together as part of the finished look of the log deck. You can see with the notch out there, the idea is to have the post sitting on the deck and then part of it hanging down. So Brian's gonna be screwing this into place with extra long six inch screws into the double joist on the front of the deck there. So he's preparing the hole and um, pre-drilling the, um, pre-drilling and then putting in this really long six inch screw on either side of the post. And then he's gonna go back in and put some blocking and do from the back side as well. But with the double joist in the front, it really pulls this post into place and holds it pretty secure. cutting the he's, we got some half posts here so he's going against the house and he's cutting out the knot for the base the last thing Brian's working on right now is he pulled out a tree from the woods so he could make his own support bracing so we can get rid of some of these uh, two by four boards that we've got up to support, support the posts here. And he's gonna be taking these down and using these tree posts to kind of support the posts from the bottom. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, you know, a little extra long with all that footage, hard to squeeze two full days into 30 minutes, but you know, hopefully you got the gist of how we put together our log deck. And you know, there's still a little bit of work to do, we got to put up the railing still, but what a beautiful fall day to enjoy finally getting out on the deck, 70 degree weather, and at getting close to sunset in a couple of hours, it's going to look beautiful over on the mountains there. We got our fall foliage coming in, all that yellow behind me. Everything's looking nice, and I'll tell you what, who else is really enjoying this. Hey, look who it is, Vigo. Vigo's favorite spot in his deck, too. He's loving it in the shade there. And hope you guys will give us a thumbs up for all the hard work. Finally, have a really nice place to enjoy the fall beautiful season in Colorado.